Minnesota up front will work hard to put the corral around Russell Wilson to keep him in the pocket. Pressure coming. He gets rid of it for Harvin. A chuckling catch. Oh, mercy. Pretty darn good throw by Russell Wilson with people in his face. Great, great concentration for Percy Harvin. Come down with that football, lined him up close to the line of scrimmage, just ran a little over route. Look at that throw, just over the hand to Chris Cook. A 17-yard gain. Turbin remains the back. Right. This one's going out of the end zone. Come on, Pete. He said he wasn't going to do it. Pete Carroll couldn't help himself. Turning Percy Harvin loose. You know, you block a little harder when you got a return guy like Percy Harvin right up the gut. Look at this huge lane. And Minnesota lucky this one doesn't go for six points. Marcus Sherrills saves it. After a year of sitting out of playing in an NFL game, a 58-yard return. He had the big third down catch. And all three timeouts, excuse me, two for Seattle. Minnesota has all three with 40 seconds to go. Percy Harvin at the top of the screen and in motion. They get it to him. He gets a block on the edge. Welcome back, Percy Harvin. And he's out of bounds with a big play on second down. 30-yard carry by Percy Harvin who just touched the ball for only the seventh time this entire season. Well, we were at Friday practice, Joe. We saw Percy Harvin involved in the game plan throughout that practice, and here they run him on a reverse. They put him in motion. Robert Ayers, he's the defensive end there, but they had a safety work into that position, and he didn't drop down either. Pass caught by Harvin. And Percy Harvin, who was led by the throw, picks up five. We talked about Pitt, Percy Harvin a little bit earlier, Joe, and the various places that they're going to align him to try to allow them to get the ball into his hands quickly. We saw the reverse on the first possession. Now they put him in a stack position, and they allow him to get the wide receiver screen. But he's a dynamic player, and for a guy who hasn't played any more than what we've already said, just a couple of games this year. He has From the 37, handoff is to Harvin. Harvin got a block, got the edge, and a first down as he picks it up, getting it inside the 25, a carry of 14 yards. They've run that now a couple times, and they've had some success with it. And Doug Baldwin, a wide receiver, he does a good job here on Dominic Rogers pro Marty that allows Percy Harvin to get on that corner. Percy Harvin is back. He had one kick return for 58 yards in his one regular season game against his former team, the Vikings, and they just pop it up. Good kick by Prater on a hop. It's Harvin, but now he takes off, and Percy Harvin gets free. Percy Harvin inside the 30. He's going to go. Touchdown, Seattle. They don't want Percy Harvin to return this ball, and it's just terrible play by the special teams of the Denver Broncos in coverage. They had a number of guys with an opportunity to make a play on Percy Harvin before he got going, and once he did, there's nobody on this field. 21 other guys, nobody can run like Percy Harvin. Hip surgery in August. He missed the championship game with a concussion. 
He's played in only two previous games this season, and he has had an impact. Sunday and maybe even on Monday when the rest of the guys get underway. They start with a short pass to Percy Harvin who takes it up to the 39 yard line and let's take a look at the Seattle offense. Led him to the Rose Bowl and of course the Hawks to the Super Bowl last year. Harvin takes the quick flip and picks up the first down to the 48 yard line. Micah Hyde makes the tackle. Percy Harvin with two touches already. He had two rushes in the Super Bowl and ended up the leading rusher in that game. But anytime you get this dynamic playmaker in the open field, you do it. He played a little running back. Dom Capers was telling me when he was with the Minnesota Vikings that they feared him as much in the backfield as they did Adrian Peterson. That's the kind of talent he has. Wilson now from the shotgun at the 40 yard line. This is Seattle's opening drive, and they give it to Harvin. And Harvin gets the first down and picks up a gain of 13 off a Zach Miller block. The Miller's been huge on this drive. First down. Look familiar. Here comes the jet sweep across the way here. And before the defense, you see Julius Pepper has been around the league about 10, 12 years. He couldn't even figure out what just happened to him. But Percy Harvin went by him so fast. This is the play. They ran it twice in the Super Bowl for 45 yards. It's still working. Really has a chance to be a star in this game, but J.R. Smith's has been great as well. Fake inside hand off to Lynch and throwing on the run, and the catch is made a yard shy of the first down by Percy Harvin before he goes out of bounds. So they've turned a first and 20 into a third down and one as the clock will tick down and probably end the quarter before they get another playoff. Dynamic a defensive players we have in the game. I just it's always a shame. It seems like something kind of knocks him out of his game. How's that pedigree, by the way? Yeah. And wide open at the 50 yard line is Harvin. And on second and long, Percy Harvin takes the ball into Green Bay territory. And they'll spot it at about the 32. What a move off the ball by Percy Harvin. He's going to come over and duck underneath the coverage here, make Morgan Burnett basically get picked off his own guy, and perfectly done by Russell Wilson. Those crossing routes are just something that are going to give the Packers nightmare. Here's Zach Miller, the tight end on the outside. Boy, is it nice to have a tight end that can block a superstar pass rusher like that. High snap. Percy Harvin in the backfield. And Harvin takes it to the 11-yard line. Harvin can line up a lot of places. One thing you probably won't see him do is take a direct snap. But then again, who knows? Well, here's what happens is he comes out from the outside. Defensively, you think you're looking at an empty set, a pure pass situation. All of a sudden, Percy Harvin comes in the backfield. They hand him the ball, and he runs like a running back. They did reset at the 40, but Mike was still arguing the point during our commercial, and to no avail, obviously, as this is Percy Harvin, who's going to gain 16 yards for a first down. Here's the Amoeba defense again. Everybody up. Rush five. Pass caught. Harvin close to a first down. Tackled there by Morgan Burnett. Yeah, Amoeba this. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, Dom Capers is drawing up everything he can think of, but, you know, somebody's got to cover that guy. And I haven't seen anybody can do that yet. And I don't know any safety in football that's going to be able to do that. So. Only 36 percent on third down last week against Green Bay. So this is something that they're definitely going to have to do, to do better. At. They pitch it to Percy Harvin, and that's a first down down the sideline. Goes Harvin, and he will go into the end zone. The electrifying Percy Harvin takes a pitch 51 yards for the touchdown. Wilson. Play action and a completion for about seven to Percy Harvin. Third, they love that place yet. Third and one inside 30. That's good for the first. As Harvin steps out of bounds. Pushed out by Chris Harris Jr. Gain of nine. Great throw by Russell Wilson, Jim. Just watch him. Leans back. What do you talk about baseball? Sometimes you gotta flip the football just like you're turning the double play as he played second base and beautiful throw on the run Percy Harvin so fast there's not much Chris Harris can do there <laughs> got it in the hand 
Hands of Holden. He's got a first down in the game of 11. How many times have we seen that today? Second and five. It's to Holden. And wherever this might be. Looks like it might be another first. It's a good safe play. Blocking down the field. I'll tell you what, good job by Chris Harris. Because these Seattle, Seattle receivers are the best blocking, well, it's one of the two best blocking set of wide receivers in the NFL. A big play here again, second and four. As Wilson has an open man. And it's Holden setting on a goal to go. Well, somewhere up there, Bill Walsh is saying that the stuff that I did 30-some years ago was still working. All they did this time, Percy Harbin was on the right when it crossed and then came back. It's what they started to drive off with. And Hey, you know why it works? Because you're worried about the run, you're worried about the mobile quarterback, and then you got maybe the fastest guy in the NFL you're throwing it to. Odd look here from the front for Durush Wilson, who fires complete to Harbin for the first down. Just inside the 20. Rookie Bashad Breeland playing very soft. Biggers is playing underneath. I have no idea what that coverage was. Well thrown ball by Russell Wilson. They call uh, him the Anchorman, Mike. Anchorman. Here comes Harvin. Sweeping around to the left. The flag is down as Harvin accelerates inside the five. For the moment he's in for the touchdown, but as we said, Flag down as he tried to turn the corner. Holding, number 77 in the offense. 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. To what they have built in the great Northwest. Second and 17, Harvin got away from the first. On his way again. Harvin inside the five for the touchdown. The strength and speed of Percy Harvin, but another flag is down. False start. Offense. Yeah. The wideout flick prior to the snap. It's getting closer, that's for sure. He got the ring. Second and five. He's got Harvin now. And Percy Harvin gets the first down for the Washington 46 yard line. The four man rush is quick, just pick it up and throw it out to Harvin. Picking his way through blockers, and the Redskins rally to the ball. And three players led by Merriweather and EJ Biggers. 41, Wilson pumping, looking deep downfield, wide open, is Harvin for the touchdown. Another flag down. Harvin, who's had two touchdowns, called back because of penalties tonight. I checked on Russell Wilson. He took a serious shot from Bashad Breeland. Three officials, conference at the 42-yard line. Here's Triplett. Prior to the touchdown, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number 77. Hit a player on the ground unnecessarily. 15-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Wow. 